This here is ChatGPT 3DS. This is an application I built over the past few days, which allows you to make API calls to the OpenAI API, which is uh, what powers ChatGPT. Uh, so you can specifically ask it a question, which will ask the GPT 3.5 Turbo model uh, a question. Um, you can set the system message, and you can generate images, which uh, will call the image generation uh, dolly like model. Uh, so let's go ahead and just ask it a question first of all. Um, say, what is DevKit Pro? Because I'm, I'm dying to know. I'm, I really don't know what DevKit Pro is, and I'm, uh, I'm very interested in learning some more from uh, this ChatGPT 3DS. Oh, well, DevKit Pro is a versatile software development kit that uh, is used for developing homebrew applications. That's great. Wow. I'm learning so much. Well, now I have two options from this point. I can either press A because I'm, I have the Ask Question selected to ask a new question, or I can tap the bottom screen to continue the conversation that I already have going with the chat bot. So what is DevKit Pro? It gave me this response. Um, let's ask how do I download? And after some time, there you go. To download DevKit Pro, follow these steps. Um, I don't know if that those are accurate steps. Uh, as always, with any AI-generated uh, responses that you'll get, uh, education-based or not, make sure that you're fact-checking them and doing your own due diligence and research. Um, so now let's go ahead and set the system message. The default system message is "You are a helpful chatbot." We can make that. We can make that a little more interesting. You are a gamer. Pirate. This is an interesting prompt because it sometimes works, it sometimes doesn't. So this is going to be interesting to see uh, what happens. So now that I've set the system message, you are a gamer pirate. I'm now asking questions to a gamer pirate. So let's say, is your favorite? Three DS game. Ah, uh, see, yeah. Sometimes it will it will give a response uh, like this as an AI language model. I don't have personal preference, so it will ignore the system message, which is a little unfortunate. How about uh, oops? Specifically, let's get it to respond. to respond like a pirate. And then we will ask, oh, I'm continuing the conversation. I don't want to do that. I just want to ask a brand new question. And I'll say, I'll say, what is love 2D? And we'll see if it responds like a pirate. Sometimes it, as the, the current version of a uh, GPT 3.5 turbo uh, doesn't have a very heavy weight on the system message. Uh, so you won't always get the responses that you want, but here you go. Are you be talking about love to me? <laughs> and you got a little emoji or something in there at the end. Um, so yeah, um, they have stated, uh, they being OpenAI have stated that in the future, uh, there will be much heavier weighting on the system message and that it'll be much more impactful on uh, the responses that you get from the AI so that you could say something like you are uh, an AI that generates spreadsheets for what have you and then it will only do that when you ask it questions. Uh, but at the moment, it's pretty limited in its waiting on the system message. So uh, it's not all that important, but it's kind of fun to mess with. Uh, now, finally, here's my, the crown jewel for me because uh, to be honest, this is the easy stuff. The question and the system message, these are just simple API calls, which uh, I was able to throw together in less than an hour, to be honest. Um, but this generate image 
while it seems like it's just as simple, uh, I'm just getting a base 64 response and uh, displaying it on the screen. Displaying it on the 3DS was a lot harder than I anticipated because 3DS requires a image format known as Text 3DS, or it's t uh, actually I believe T3X uh, is the file extension, and um, the base 64 that we get is a PNG. So I had to write my own interpreter for the PNG file in raw Lua. And when I say raw Lua, I mean without using any external libraries because pretty much no external libraries are supported on uh, Love Potion, which is for the better, but also uh, causes moments like this where I had to spend uh, about two or three days losing my mind in between uh, work. So let's finally generate an image uh, how about the Mario movie? You know, that's a. Uh, I'm excited for the Mario movie. I don't know about you guys, but. Mario movie, uh. The interpretation, let's see. This can take a while, as it says on the bottom screen. Uh, because what it's doing is. It has to gen. Like, OpenAI has to generate this image, which can take, uh, sometimes up to a minute, depending on, uh, the. Uh, how many people are using the API? Okay, well, this doesn't look like much of a movie to me, but it does look like Mario. So we we got we got something interesting, to say the least. Um, <laughs> I I went off. I I was thinking about Mario too much. I went off on a tangent. I don't. I forget what I was talking about. So let's get Luigi in here. Um, oh yeah, that's right. It takes a while. So you gotta wait for OpenAI to generate this image, and then you have to wait for your 3DS, which, let me tell you, is pretty slow. I'm testing this on a new 3DS. I have not tested this on my O3DS. Uh, there you go. That's Luigi. Um, wow, what a sight for sore eyes. So, don't be surprised if you get hung up on that screen for a very long time, because if an error occurs, it would have... Uh, printed an error message on the bottom screen uh, because I, I am handling uh, a lot of those errors. But if you do end up uh, getting in uh, stuck in a loop or if it's like stuck on the thinking screen or generating a screen for, uh, I would say, more than five, ten minutes, uh, let me know. Open a GitHub issue and uh, I'll take a look at it. Let's generate one more image before we look at the settings. Um, Rainbow. Metal Mario. I did not spell metal right. I well, I don't even know what it's gonna give me. It's 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 is it Mateo Mario? I mean, at least it'll be rainbow, maybe. Well, there you go. He's uh not fully pictured, but you know. It's the thought that counts. So now let's take a look at the settings. The settings are not for the image generation. The settings only apply to the chat completion uh, API requests. It's the temperature, it's the top percent, the presence penalty, and the frequency penalty. I am not going to explain what any of these do. Uh, I'm just going to tell you to politely check the OpenAI API documentation because that's where you'll find everything you need to know. Um, I will say, little disclaimer is written at the bottom here, and it is mentioned in the OpenAI documentation, but I put it here just in case. Uh, OpenAI recommends to change either the temperature or the top percent, but not both at once. So if you're going to change the temperature, you should leave top percent at 1.0, and if you're changing top percent, you should leave temperature at 1.0. So that's it. That's ChatGPT 3DS. That's what's up. Um, hopefully you thought this was interesting at all hopefully you thought this was cool hopefully you download it and uh let me know what you think uh, let me know if uh it works out for you and uh do keep in mind that because this uses openai's official api uh you will need an account you will need a credit card and you will be charged for each generation you are being charged fractions of pennies every single time but uh i mean you should obviously know this if you're using openai's api if you've used it before um you can look into the pricing for yourself because these are simply chat uh gbt 3.5 turbo calls and the image generation calls so uh 
look into the pricing for both those and you will see uh, what you're getting into. So, yeah, thanks for watching.